Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the fourth episode in the Node.js series, uh, and I hope you're enjoying it. And in the last three videos, we looked at how what Node is, how to install it, how to run it. Now, uh, we need to understand what globals are in Node.js, uh, which is a very important topic before we start coding. And just like when you run JavaScript in your browsers, you have Windows as the global. Uh, obviously node is doesn't run inside a browser so it doesn't have the windows uh, global it has its own global uh, which makes sense in node.js so we're going to look at it and welcome to Texit tutorials all right so let's look at some of the globals in node.js now why do we need globals in node uh, that is because um, in Node, when you create different modules, or um, there, there, there are th some things that we need globally so that it's automatically accessible from all the modules. Especially, like if I'm if I'm gonna import something, I would I would use particular uh, uh, like require. Uh, if it's available in every module, it makes more sense to have it as a global. There are certain things that it injects into each module. Uh, as a global uh, or there's some things that are automatically available as globals uh, so one of the first global that we're going to look at is process so first let's run node environment and if I just type uh, process it it has a bunch of properties uh, we're not going to go through all of it but let's look at a few of them uh, so the process is basically shows you all the detail for the specific machine the environment the node and everything uh, or the command line that I just passed so for example it shows you the version of node uh, it shows you uh, a platform it shows you the re release it shows you arguments for example I just typed node uh, so it so, uh, shows if you have multiple arguments it's if I type node and something else um, it will be the second argument also will be uh, here as a second element in this in this array uh, it also shows you the uh, the environment and the session ID and all that stuff it shows me the username and remember in the last video we looked at a process dot exit this exit is nothing but a function inside this process if you go all the way in the end you would see the uh, the pro the exit function which is a function uh, so there are a bunch of bunch of this um, things available that you can use so the process allows you uh, lots of property that you can directly get from uh, from the process object and it also has some functionality that you can run all right so the next uh, a global is uh, require now require uh, just like in JavaScript uh, in the browser JavaScript you need to import and export your modules Inside the node, you also need to import uh, either external modules that somebody else have written, uh, internal module that ships with the, the node itself, or something that you create, basically a file that you create that you wanna import into another file, okay? For all of that, you would need require, which is one of the most important. Now, in the ES6 modules, you can use import uh, something from something, uh, but it's still not available uh, at least not at the moment while I created this um, tutorial but it's it's available as an experimental um, feature that we'll look at in the next video but basically it requires allow you to import something and if you remember the uh, common JS uh, this is nothing but the common JS uh, feature that is automatic that, that is at no community has decided to use it uh, and make it a part of it now require allows you to import if you want to export something you have to use module now module allows you to export so module has a property called export again we're gonna look at this in a in much more detail in the next video but anything that you attach here would allow you to export uh, that module it has another property called paths if if I am uh, importing something uh, where to look for so this is how node resolves a package uh, it doesn't really know where this is it internal external uh, 
so it has to resolve by looking through all this folder so this is what it is node also has a global name global so if i just uh, print global i would see that um, actually process is part of the global here uh, as you can see um, so here i can actually add my own property if i want to but i would highly not recommend it so uh, let's say if i want to add um, global dot a a a equal to one okay and if i print uh, global then i would see that property added to uh, to my global now again there might be there may be few cases where you want to do that but when you are coding mostly i would say don't add anything to the global it's kind of dangerous it also have few globals uh, that are uh, like a directory name um, which basically you can't access through ripple you have to be inside a file uh, which shows you the current uh, directory that you are in and it's it's not a clear global it actually uh, specific to uh, whichever folder you directory you are in uh, but it acts like a global because when it when uh, when it creates a module it injects it inside so let's uh, let's look at that so here if i do um, if i do console log so i've created this file called app.js app .js, and if i console log underscore underscore dir name it should print the directory name and if i run node mon app remember we installed this node mon in the previous video if i run it it should show me uh, the directory uh, location where this file is located um, i can also uh, print the file name so instead of directory name if i do file name and save it it should show me the which file i am in right now all right that's all folks uh, so in the next video we are going to look at modules which is very important how to create a module how to export it uh, and how to import a module into another and we are going to also going to look at the es6 module the experimental version and i hope you enjoy this video and if you did please like subscribe and provide a nice comment and don't forget to bookmark this video uh or the series because uh, then you can follow it in entirety um, i'll provide a link uh, in the corner and thank you